car alarm. Great. Perfect timing. <laughs> On in, Jack. So uh, we have this rough and tumble stance, and so if we, you can pick. I don't care if you want us to do right foot forward, left foot forward. Most traditional guys are left foot forward, right foot back. We want to have our toes facing the enemy, maybe a slight bit off. We definitely don't want to be in this kickboxing stance here. We want to be more in this position, and the reason we want to be in the more toes forward position is because we're prepared to wrestle, right? So if your toes are pointed off to the side and you're in this kickboxing stance, then you're leaving this leg here and I'm gonna shoot and then I'm gonna have this leg. But if you turn to face me, toes to face, now suddenly if I come in, you can put your poor hands on me and you can sprawl me down, right? So we're in this position and some amazing things happen in this position in terms of our kicks, okay? So let's prepare. So our hands are up, and I want you to have your hands turned slightly palm away because that defects and protects against weapons so you don't show off all the beautiful veins, right? And it also makes your elbows naturally turn in. If your hands are here, then the tendency is to wing out, but if you turn in a little bit, then it makes you more narrow in your stance. Uh, narrow in your guard and less of a hole in the middle, right? Now, if you were in kickboxing stance, your right foot side kick is difficult. So from here, you would go bang, and so there's your side kick. But now suddenly, where's your right side kick? Bam! It's much more deployable because look, it's two feet further around the circle. So now suddenly, this right leg side kick, bang, to the low, low area is very deployable. And then the same thing is interesting about side kick. So if we're here in this position, side kick for kickboxers is really good. Boom, right? But is it good? Is it though? Because watch, if I'm in kickboxing stance and I side kick, does my torso move? No, my torso stays right where it is. So if I'm gonna get punched in the face, my torso stays right where it is. So if I kick at the same time he kicks to the head, then I'm still there. But if I'm in rough and tumble stance and I deploy my lead leg kick, watch what happens. My whole body moves about a foot to the right. Bang. So my head naturally moves offline as I do my lead leg side kick. So the main, one of the main things it does is it puts your side kick back into play, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now your weight's a little more forward. Well, with your weight more forward, your rear leg is more deployable. If you're here, your rear leg is all the weight on it. So in order to rear leg kick, what do you have to do? Well, let me shift my weight to the front here. Now I'm gonna do my big kick, all right? But if you're here already, then suddenly, rear leg roundhouse kick to the body. It's deployable. It's ready to go right where it is. Bang. Does that make sense? It puts the rear leg kick. If, you, if you're in kickboxing stance, now you're getting the rough and tumble stance. You've moved it almost a foot. And you can even come a little further, Jack. Yeah. And now look. So you've put these kicks back in play and you fundamentally changed your whole outlook to the fight by moving your power leg closer to the target that you're trying to hit. Does that make sense? All right, so that's all I want to share. If you want more details on this stuff, you got to train or you got to join the distance learning program.